don't have all the medalists with us at the moment, but um, Mo Farr, our gold medalist, is here with us. He has just been in getting some treatment with the doctor, and we need to proceed because he then has to depart quickly to continue his medical treatment. So can I ask any questions from the floor, please? Could you please state your, um, uh, your name and organization, please? Yeah, no, definitely. Tonight was a very special night tonight. Uh, the guys gave it to me. Uh, they chucked everything at it. It's one of the toughest races of my life. Um, I had to dig deep, 1,600 meters to go and think, don't let the gap go. Uh, make sure, you know, I can cover every move and just try and be strong. And, and then one lap to go and nearly get tripped twice. That was hard. And, um, but I just had to mentally be strong and think I didn't work for nothing and, and come out. Yeah, to be honest with you, um, beforehand, London, I was very honest and said, I still got a bit of work to do. And I went back to front row for another three weeks and, and did a good block of training. Um, it was an eight by a K, and then I came back again, do some 400s. And I felt like I, ru I run a decent session. And in terms of my times, I was happy with it. And I knew from that point, uh, it wasn't that just particular session, but the last three weeks has gone so well. I knew. I'm going to be strong uh, toward, towards the end of the race and in during the race. And I, I, knew <laughs> I don't want to give it away because it would just encourage my opposition to be able to, you know, to, to copy me what I do. And I will share with me when I'm done running, when I hang up on the track. But it, it was decent session and, it, it, uh, you know, it was decent enough to think I'm in great shape and um, I, I was confident. But, guys, I'm going to... I've got... I've got bad legs, so I'm going to go and take a treatment on it. And um, yeah, if you've got a couple of more questions I can share with you, other than that, I've got to shoot off. Just one question quickly. Okay. Run, run, run. Um, you mentioned that you were going to be doing some Yeah, at that point, it was just like, I've got such a long strides. You see me, I've went down before in the race in Rio and then come back again. I've got such a long strides, I've got, I've got caught twice. And I just, you know, at that point, I was just trying to stand up and think, I can't go down, I can't go down. But from that from that fall, actually, I did hurt my leg, but I'm going to take. I'm gonna go see the doctors now and take care of it. A few stitches, maybe. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the silver medalist with us, Joshua Chiptegay. Are there any questions for him, please? Yes. Can we wait for the microphone? It's great. Thank you. Joshua, hi. Larry Eater with Run Blog Run. You pushed the pace very, very hard. Can you tell us now what your plan was? Yeah, of course. Uh, <clears throat> I really knew I was really going to go hard in, in order to be in the podium. So I said if I can do uh, the hard work alone then uh, with some guys, then I can be in the podium, yeah. That was my, 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 my plan, yeah. Microphone here, please. Tell us how you felt over the last lap. Were you confident that you were going to medal? Yeah, it was really the last lap. I saw myself entering the last lap uh, in the fi like fifth or sixth place. Then I said, I, I don't need to be again in the position six or four or maybe three or maybe four, uh, five. I said, maybe I, I, I need to be in the podium. So I had to really uh, take it from the guys. And then I really pushed it hard, you know, towards the, the last 200. I saw really the podium coming. Then I said, I can go further, you know. I kept moving, so I'm really grateful, you know. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Over there, please. Just this gentleman there. 
you're very young, and um, you were talking about how you like to train in Uganda to inspire the next generation. Um, with, also with Jacob um, Kaplimo winning the World Juniors, do you feel like the Ugandans can maybe start eclipsing the Kenyans? Do you feel like the Ugandans, with you and Kaplimo, who won the World Junior Cross Country, that you guys can start a new generation of Ugandan runners who are just as good as the Kenyans? Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> the sport's now developing in Uganda. Uh, uh, from the time uh, Stephen Kiprotich won in London here in the, in the, in the Olympic Games, it, it really gave uh, inspiration to, to, the, to, the, to the young talent. So that's why now you saw the likes of Jacob coming up. Then uh, I also got inspiration from 2012 when Stephen won in, 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 in London here. I was just a high school student, a, a, a young boy by then. So I, I, I was really inspired. And then I said, one day I, I want to become a champion. So I think I'm really following the footsteps of uh, uh, my countryman, uh, uh, the, Olymp the, the former Olympic champion and the world champion, Stephen Kiprotich. Yeah, it's really, more people are coming up and we, we, we believe uh, in, the, in, in the next future, it will also be like a, a powerhouse for, for long distance, you know. Absolute, absolutely, it's really going to be, I, I have no doubt about that. We really, we, we have support from the Federation and then the, the, even the, 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 the President. So we, we believe things are really going to be uh, different and uh, yeah, I believe so. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our bronze medalist, Paul Tanui, with us now. Are there any questions for either of the athletes? Paul, can you put into words how good Mo Farah is, and is there a way he can be beaten in 5,000 metres? Pardon? What did you say? Can you put into words how good Mo Farah is and can you see him being beaten in the 5,000 metres? <laughs> yeah, it's really... To me, uh, Mo, Mo really has come a long way and he's really, he has made enough preparation uh, uh, from me. so many years uh, down the road and uh, I believe he's really a, he's a tough guy, you know. I'm just uh, three years in the track, so I believe... Uh, it's, it's just like, it's like uh, I'm going to miss uh, racing with Mo in the future because really his days are really going and uh, now, uh, I'm now coming. So, but I believe it's really a strong guy. It's, it's really, uh, maybe, maybe I can try in 5K. Maybe I can try, maybe I can try. Yeah. But it's really a strong guy, you know. You know. Question here, please. For Paul, can you tell us about your race? What uh, you went out very fast and you charged to the front several times. Uh, what was your plan? What were you trying to do? <coughs> yeah, I can say that uh, today race was a very tough race in my life. And uh, I was trying not to be far away from front because I was expecting that anything can happen. So I didn't want something to happen without my knowledge. So that's why I was trying to come near front. During the last lap, it was very hectic. Can you tell us how you felt during the last lap? Yeah, it was a very tough last lap. I really tried my best, but I'm grateful with the position I I achieve at the end. Is there a question in the front row, please? Okay, Paul. This is your third time to get the bronze medal of the championships. So can you tell us your feeling now and your um, future plan? Thank you. Yeah, it was actually my third front bronze. And uh, what I can say for now is that I'm still focusing on gold, and I'm going back now to the drawing board, and I hope in future I will achieve my target, which is to have a 